This is part two of our Hutchinson Avenue video diary. Oh, an inflatable Noah's Ark. Very cute. And I think... Ah, someone's a football fan. We have the Lions, the Eagles. I don't know what this one is. I don't know much about football, so... Oh, Olaf and Elsa and... I forget her name. I think out of all the Christmas light displays we've taken to you two guys, this one is my favorite. We have... Oh, sorry. We have some beautiful Christmas lights here and I've seen these. They were very popular in the 70s, these particular ones. I think my parents might have some of these when I was a kid. And over here we have, looks like Santa's workshop. We have a big giant inflatable dinosaur over here. We have Cinderella and Elsa and um, I forget her name. Some, someone from Frozen. We have here, we have, looks like a little choir, and if you look up, they almost have a canopy type. So we're going to follow this path a little more. And we have here, what I think is amazing. It's different. It's really different. It's all pop culture. They have BB-8, BB, Ma I forget his name. It looks, it looks like, um... We have over there, we have um, Darth Vader, we have Spider-Man, we have the whole... I'm going to go talk to him. Like, go over and talk to him. And the last place we're going to look tonight is in their back shed. They have a whole train display. I'm going to go check out this train display. Oh, those are beautiful. Snoopy and the Red Baron, very cute. Even the dogs are loving it. Hello. Aww. Hi. <laughs> He's not bothered by it. No. <laughs> so then now we're coming into my favorite part of the whole, this whole house is their back shed, which they totally, totally turned into a child's wonderland. We have we have here some merry-go-rounds, kids on carts, we have a big top exhibit, we have dance and Santas, minstrels everywhere. Oh. Oh. Dog toy. Very cute. We have here, I'm going to stand back so you guys can see it, okay? Say hi, Greg. Hi, Greg. I wonder if he's here, if the guy's out in the backyard. Oh, I, I want to show you guys something else. I can't touch it, but we have a, a town, a big giant town. Oh. Oh, look at this, guys. It's a little, looks like a Zeppelin. I think that's a... Oh, yes. Oh. I... What is this? Reindeer food. On Christmas Eve, sprinkle this magic reindeer food on your lawn. The magic glitter sparkling in the moonlight and the smell of the oats will guide Rudolph to your house. I so like that. You guys should come in here. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's like a toy store. Big giant toy store. So so it's kind of nice that he opened up his shed, guys, to people to just to walk in. But there's trains in there. And it's amazing. So we have 
Elsa looks like a oh oh that's adorable what else do we have here what a nice touch yes I wonder what donation is that you have to put in but we'll be back for sure and when Santa comes on the 21st and 22nd I think he'll be sitting in that chair <laughs> I, don't, I don't do that anymore. I don't. I. Well, you know, I have to this is a nice touch. And I'm glad because. Now, if they had marshmallows, that would be but, wonderful. But all these and little cups of hot chocolate. <laughs> and look, and over here we have. Oh, that's nice. We have a snowman merry-go-round and a whole setup full of them. Oh! Look up! Look at the mailbox. It's a it's a bird of some kind. Very very cool. So I think this man put at least hours and hours into preparation into this. But I do like my Snoopy. Oh! And what's this over here? You know, these are more retro Santas. We have Mrs. Santa Claus here, and she has a plate full of cookies. See? She's got, she's got little uh, plate of gingerbread cookies for, Miss, for, for Santa right here. And the host of the house has actually got a basket full of sweets. I'm going to see what they've got. See if they have any... Oh, yes. I got some. What a, an amazing house. And we have monkeys on, um, look at that. So anyways, I scored some lollipops because he had a basket full of them over there, guys. So if you ever come to this house, go to the back of the house and he's got a basket full of candies. And um, yeah, he put at least about four days work into putting this all together. Sorry, just doing a commentary. And if any of you have kids and live in the Victoria area, Santa will be here on the 21st, 22nd, or 23rd. Or so the signs over there have said. <laughs> but I can only imagine the hydro bill. So again, we're going to do one last walk around, and I'm going to get one film in here, so I'll know. Okay. Oh, nice. See this, what, what I really love, and it's the reason for the season, is this nativity scene right here. Very beautiful, very, very beautifully done. After, out of all the Christmas houses we've shown you tonight, I think this is my favorite. What say you? I say so far, of all that we've looked at, this is the best. I don't know much about football, but. We're going to be looking at some others. So. But we'll definitely always come back to this one. So, if anybody knows of any houses that we should come see besides the ones that we've shown already, please uh, post to our page. And we'll definitely be back just before Christmas, right? Correct. So to come on Christmas to see Santa. Because you're never too old. That's right. So anyway, we're signing off here tonight. And until we go, we have to say, ho, 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 ho. and hold the payment.